Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a differential equation. Suppose x is positive and f of x is also positive. I'm just making these simplifications so we don't have to deal with the absolute value. But if you want, you can solve this in general case as well. So we have f prime of x, which is the first derivative, equals f of x divided by x plus x. So we're going to uh, make it uh, a really nice uh, differential equation. So let's go ahead and replace f of x with y and f prime with y prime. So let's write it as y prime equals y over x plus x. In some of the previous videos on differential equations, uh, if the equation was homogeneous, we replaced y over x with another variable or we replace y with ux or something like that. But this equation is a little different. I'm going to be presenting two methods. So let's go ahead and take a look at the first one first. So from here, I'm going to multiply both sides by x. Again, I said that x needs to be positive or I made that assumption or it's given that way, whatever you want to call that. So x is not going to be zero in this case, so we're good. Let's go ahead and multiply both sides by x. That gives us x y prime equals y plus x squared. Awesome. So again, that doesn't look like a better uh, alternative, but uh, we're going to turn this into something nicer. So first of all, let's go ahead and um, put everything that contains a y or its derivatives on one side. So subtract y and leave the x squared alone. Now, obviously, this equation is not homogeneous. Why? Because we do not have 0 on the right hand side. If it was equal to 0, it would be super duper nice because this would be uh, this would turn into a separable differential equation. It would be very easy to solve. But that doesn't matter because we can still consider the homogeneous version of this equation. So suppose we don't have the x squared there. Let's go ahead and solve the homogeneous version, or you can call that y sub h. So let's go ahead and solve x y prime minus y equals 0. So we're going to consider the homogeneous solutions first, and then we're going to include the um, you know specific solution or particular solution for the non-homogeneous case, and we're going to put those together. So that's going to be the first method. So how do you solve this, this kind of equation? Uh, easy, because it's separable. Let's go ahead and put the y on the right-hand side, and write the y prime as dy over dx, and that should give you a clue. From here, we can uh, just write this as dy over y equals dx over x, which is super duper nice, right? Now we can integrate both sides and, you know, solve this differential equation easily because it's already separated. And since I assume that x and y values are always positive, this, this is going to give me ln y equals ln x plus a constant. Let's call that c. Great. So now uh, I want to get rid of the ln and let's go ahead and do e to the power ln y equals e to the power ln x plus c, which can be written as e to the power ln x times e to the power c. Now notice that e to the power c is also a constant. Uh, let's call that k. And now e to the power ln x is equal to x, obviously from properties of logs, and this is equal to y. So we get y equals kx, which is super duper nice, right? From something, from, from this, we get something uh, uh, as simple as this one. So this is basically the solution to the homogeneous equation. If you want, you can call this y sub h, like I said before. But this is just the homogeneous version. But we do have, but we have xy prime minus y equals x squared. That was our original equation, right? Okay. Now, how do we include the uh, non-homogeneous um, solution here? We're going to be considering, because of x squared on the right-hand side, we are going to consider, let's consider, a solution of the form. Now, normally you would assume something like this. You would have the kx, which is always a solution because it uh, makes the right-hand side equal to zero. Uh, you would add something like ax squared plus bx plus c, because of the presence of the quadratic term. But since you already have a linear term like kx, you don't really need to do this. You can just go ahead and assume something like this. y equals kx plus ax squared plus c. 
Uh, if you don't want to use a C, uh, you could probably use, let's just use M. Okay, great. So now, uh, this is going to be, and obviously we can write it in a nicer way, like AX squared plus KX plus M. Just in standard form, you know. So now we're going to go ahead and substitute this. Now remember, we got the homogeneous solution. This was for the homogeneous case. And now we, we included a non-homogeneous solution. And we're going to substitute this because we want to determine uh, the coefficient. So this method, uh, I, I, I think it could also be called method of undetermined coefficients or something like that. But anyway, that doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and sub everything into the original problem. Remember, we had x, y prime minus y equals x squared. So x is going to be multiplied by y prime. Let's go ahead and differentiate this. This gives us 2ax plus k minus, if you subtract from this, the y itself, the difference should give you x squared. Now let's go ahead and simplify this. This gives us 2ax squared plus kx minus ax squared minus kx minus m. Notice that kx disappears because it's the solution to the homogeneous uh, equation. Great, so they're going to cancel out, leaving us with x squared. And from here we get the following, ax squared minus m equals x squared. This means that a is equal to 1 from here, and there's no constant on the right-hand side, so a is equal to 1, m is equal to 0. Remember, our solution was in this form, therefore we can basically write it as y equals x squared plus kx. All right? Awesome. Now, uh, to solve uh, the homogeneous equation here, let's go back here. I want to tell you something. We used, uh, you know, we, may, we turned it into a separable equation, or we separated the variables and just integrated both sides. It was easy. But if you want to solve this using power series, which is a method we recently used, you can also do that. Even though it's power uh, overkill, uh, it's going to be good practice. Okay, great. And see if you can get the same thing by using a power series. Let's talk about the second method now. For my second method, obviously, I want to solve. And this method is for basically uh, you know, solving the homogeneous case because the non-homogeneous is not going to matter. Uh, we're, we're still going to use a method of, um, what is it called? Undetermined coefficient, something like that. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I want to solve this. Uh, x, y prime equals y. And then from here, I can write y prime as y over x. And remember, we used um, a different variable here because now this is a really nice form. So let's go ahead and call this uh, y equals y equals ux. That means y over x is equal to u, right? So let's differentiate both sides. If y is equal to ux, then y prime is going to be derivative of u, derivative of u, multiplied by x, plus the derivative of x, which is 1, multiplied by u. So you can write the y prime as x u prime plus u. So that is y prime and that is y. Let's go ahead and uh, substitute this and see what happens. Now our or prime plus u, and then I'm going to replace y over x with u. There you go. And then the u is going to cancel out, leaving us with x u prime equals 0. Obviously, x does not equal 0. So uh, then this means that u prime has to be 0, which means u is a constant. And I can go ahead and call this y uh, u equals um, k, a constant. But u is equal to y over x, so y over x is equal to k. And this gives us y equals kx. Now that, that gives us the homogeneous solution and then if you put it together with the first method uh, to find the particular solution, then you will obtain y equals x squared plus kx as before. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care and bye bye.